Hello everybody, welcome to another CSGO editing tutorial. In this one, I'm going to show you how to change CSGO weapon skins, gloves and knives using end skins with HLE. The first step what we need to do is download HLE. So you just go ahead and download the latest version of HLE like so. And uh, actually they now have an installer as well. So if you download the setup.exe, you'll get a uh, setup file like this and you just run it and install it like any other program. Once we have that done, we can download the Endskins Advanced Effects DLL. So just go ahead and download the latest version here. Once we have that done, you'll get a zip folder for the uh, DLL. So just go ahead and extract this DLL to wherever on your computer. Just note down the directory of it because we're going to be needing it. Once we have that done, go ahead and launch HLE. So just go to File, Launch CSGO. And uh, you can enable this, put your movie making config directory uh, in it. That way it loads it uh, when you launch CSGO. Uh, you can go ahead and enable this to uh, use a custom resolution. I've done 1920 by 810. Um, you can do whatever resolution you really want. And uh, everything else you can pretty much leave defaults and press launch. All right, so once we've launched into CSGO, you should get this Valve anti cheat message pop up. That means HLA is working. Go ahead and open up your console. I'm just going to clear it real quick. And now we need to actually um, load in the uh, DLL for end skins. So to do that, we need to do merv underscore load library and then put the path to the end skins DLL. In this case, I have mine on a separate hard drive like so in my editing folder. So that's the directory for my DLL. Press enter and it should say load library OK. And I'm going to close the console. And when you press insert on your keyboard, you should get the uh, box for end skins pop up like so. Once you have that, we can go ahead and load into a demo. Alright, so once you've gotten to wherever you want to um, change your skin, it can be anywhere really. Uh, we're going to have to jump back anyway, so just pick anywhere. So I'm just going to use this point here on the demo. What we need to do is open up the console and get the actual ID of the player. So the player I'm using is mflam uh, tommy. So I'm just going to type this command here, merv list entities is player equals one, press enter your keyboard, and you should get a bunch of stuff in your console. And go ahead and look for your player, and um, here he is. Just copy the XUID number, so it should be like this. And I should point out these are numbers here, these are tied to uh, the player's Steam account. So if you're using multiple demos with the same person, you don't have to do this constantly, you can just copy the same uh, number because they are linked to the Steam account. Right, so once you're done with that, go ahead and close the console, press insert on your keyboard uh, to bring up the end skins thing. And now we're going to be replacing the skin for his USP. So I go ahead and put in the actual ID, so just paste in the number like so, make sure you uh, enable it of course. Go ahead and change the item, so I'm using a USP. I'm just going to select that and then we can change the paint kit. Alright, and I've gone ahead and selected kill confirms for the USB and we can go ahead and actually name this. So I'm just going to call it uh, USB like so. Make sure you click update. Go ahead and close end skins by pressing insert again. And now we need to jump back uh, around. Alright, now we jump back to the place we want to. As you can see, now his skin is changed and now he's using a USB kill confirms rather than um, the other one. Alright, we can also go ahead and change the uh, gloves of the player model as well. So to do that, just press adds to create a new um, thing. Go ahead and press enabled. Make sure you have the same XUID. I'm just going to copy and paste it like so. Go ahead and change the name to gloves and select glove in the item. Uh, now we can go ahead and check uh, whatever one uh, glove, whatever glove uh, thing you want. So let's just do hand wraps and pick a skin for it. So I'm just going to do the leather hand wraps, press update. Again, go ahead back uh, uh, to around. And there you have it, you can now change the skins to whatever you want, it's pretty simple, uh, just takes a bit of time 
messing around with choosing whatever you uh, choosing whatever you want. All right, so before I end off the video, Advanced Effects has opened an open collective page where you can help contribute to HLE. I will be uh, contributing to the uh, team uh, soon. So hopefully you guys can all help contribute to HLE. So that's it for this tutorial. Hopefully you found it helpful. Thanks for watching and I'll see you all in the next one.